Hello everyone and welcome. We're going to be looking at another University of Waterloo math contest. This time it's going to be the 2016 grade 10 level Kaylee contest. So it's a multiple choice level contest. As always, I am Root Beer and I'll be going through this contest one question at a time. If you'd like a copy of this uh, fine paper here, you can get a copy of it by clicking the very first link in the description and try it out for yourself. Try any of the questions, try all of the questions. Uh, if you want to come back and lay, take a look at a specific video solution, they are all uh, there and ready to go. So if you want to, for example, just jump all the way down to uh, the, the last five questions, I know some people are just interested in, in doing the Part C questions, just feel free to jump to those videos. Uh, I'll be starting with uh, question number one in just a moment. I'll just draw attention to a couple things. As I said, it is a multiple choice test. There's always going to be five given answers. Only one of them is correct. Uh, if you're going to try this out on your own, give yourself an hour time limit, and you are more than welcome to use a calculator on this contest. Okay. Other things that you might want to take a look at, especially if you're going to be writing the Cayley or any of the sister papers uh, like the Pascal or the Fermat, uh, one thing to be aware of is the scoring, because you want to do the best you can, and that sometimes means having to make hard choices about time management and, and feeling, feeling like you can give up one of the eight mark part C questions to, to have a better chance of answering two of the six mark uh, part B questions. But, uh, you know, we're just gonna, we're gonna sort of ignore that. I'll, you can read the scoring if you want, but I'm just gonna do one question at a time. Starting with question number one. So, uh, the value of two plus, or three plus two minus two plus one is, okay, some of you will be able to do that in your head, no problem. Others, you know, might have to grab a calculator or write it down, and that's fine too. Do everything that's in the brackets first, okay, and then do the 5 minus the 3 is 2. I'll make my 5 look more like a 5 and less like a 6. Kind of a little hybrid monster there. There we go. And 2 is, at the end there, it's E. So our very first answer to this contest is E, and that answer is Question number one. Up next, of course, question number two. I will see you there for that question then. 